Back on the winning track, I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Instant Replay Post Game Report. The University of Evansville women's basketball team looked to get back on track after two straight losses on the road back here at the Meeks Family Fieldhouse, and they did their stat against the Westminster squad that showed a lot of fight, and this one did not come easy. Head coach Matt Ruffing and company wanted to get out in front early on the Blue Jays and stay there. They got half the formula right as the Aces come out rolling. Kelsey Scott begins a big game in the paint, opening the score. Next, Brooke Dossett begins a superlative performance by torching the twine on the triple. Macy Lively follows that up, working with Hannah No with the sweet dish down low. And the lively to no connection continues its toward pace on the turnover as the Aces get out on an 11-2 run. <laughs> Kaylin Kaufman caps the early UE uprising with a strong second effort getting her own rebound and put back and the Aces lead balloons to double digits. However, the advantage withers almost as quickly as it flares as Westminster closes the opening quarter on an 11-2 run, and Evansville is left clinging to a 19-17 lead at the end of one. The Blue Jays go on to knot it up early in the second, then the Aces catch fire. First carry, Gasper hits back-to-back -back baskets. <laughs> Next, Hannah No chimes in from downtown not once, but twice. And Evansville goes into the locker room up 38-28. Still Westminster hangs around, then Kelsey Scott ignites a late third quarter run. Brooke Dossett follows that up, drilling back-to-back three-pointers, the second coming the hard way with a hoop and harm. Should finish with a game-high 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists as Evansville evens their record at 2-2, two two, pulling away with a 79-53 victory. After the game, I caught up with Aces head coach Matt Ruffing as well as three of the heroes of tonight's victory, and they all said that, yes, this was a big win, but it also shows that they have a long way to go. We got a lot of work on. Um, you know, I give hats off to Coach Arnold and uh, Westminster. They played really hard, uh, put us in some situations uh, we were hoping not to be in. But, you know, I think our kids kind of stepped up to the plate there in that fourth quarter and really took the challenge that we gave them. I think we started off good and then we kind of got in a lull, but we finished on a strong note. So uh, hopefully just take that into the, our next games after Thanksgiving break. So I think we could have been better, um, but, you know, I think that this is a learning experience for us. It'll be good film for us to watch and just to um, come back from Thanksgiving break and prepare ourselves for the games that we have coming up. We've been playing like we were on the road, and I feel like the fourth quarter there, it was kind of like more in. We were more into it, and the crowd was more into it, and it was a lot more fun. Like the first three quarters were kind of sluggish and slow, me including. All of us weren't kind of, I don't think we were prepared for not the intensity of the night because we weren't really, it's a D3 school, we weren't really. I guess ready in a sense, but I feel like going forward we need to prepare ourselves mentally in the locker room more and look forward to the team. We can't look over any other team. They're starting on our, they're already guaranteed on our uh, schedule and we have to be prepared for every, every game. It's just, it's just on us to kind of put it together in the right moments. You know, I think, you know, we started the game really well and kind of got a little complacent. You know, with, uh, I think we scored two points in five minutes. They're there to end the quarter, but uh, you know, Brooke, Brooke's a playmaker for us, and she, she makes really good reads, and we just got to continue to keep the ball in her hands. I think my drives were looking good. You know, they uh, kind of like crossing over, going to the opposite side, when uh, just attacking the basket was going well for me. I just got some good passes from my teammates and kind of found my groove a little bit again. Um, struggled a little bit with my fouls, but I'll be better. It's kind of hard because that's not, it's still not to where I can be. I still have a lot to work on, and I still have a lot a lot of ground to cover. I think we started off good and then we kind of got in a lull, but we finished on a strong note, so uh, hopefully just take that into the, our next games after Thanksgiving break. It's always good to get a W no matter who it's against. It's a good feeling, so hopefully the good things we saw today we can carry over and show people that we can do that consistently. We have a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> we do. 
and Murray State was a good win, and it was good for the program, it was good for our confidence, but we have to learn to put an exclamation point on the end of every win. Everything's a learning experience for us, and we're going to take it step by step. Um, like I said the other day, we have a long way of being where we want to be, but we have a lot of time to get there. So I think that, you know, just coming in every day, working hard, figuring out the little things that we can be really, really good at, and emphasizing the things that aren't on a stat sheet will help us and carry us over to be really, really successful for the rest of the year. You know, four games in, um, you know, I, I think we could be better, but uh, I think this break's going to be really good for us. Uh, get us a chance to kind of get our mind off of basketball, come back kind of refreshed, uh, get to see family. It's always a good time, you know, something we do differently than most programs. And, I think it's very valuable, so I think it's going to serve us really well the last seven games of non-conference. Now comes the long Thanksgiving break, nine days to be exact, one that will end next Thursday on the road at Western Kentucky as the Aces take on a very tough Hilltopper squad. For the Aces Instant Replay Post Game Report, I'm Joe Downs. Our fifth third bank moment of momentum comes late in the third quarter and early in the fourth when Brooke Dawson outscores Westminster 10-2 to put the game out of reach. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.